I've been wanting to make a fog tutorial for so long now, but just haven't had the right weather conditions for it. But a few weeks ago, I was out hiking, and uh, this happened. Fog is without a doubt my favorite kind of weather conditions to shoot in. It comes with a bunch of different opportunities for your shots, but also a few different kind of dangers and things you should be aware of when you're filming and editing your foggy footage. So that's what I want to talk about in today's tutorial. Because fog appears more dense the further it is from you, it can create some really interesting effects in your footage where it emphasizes the depth in your scene. If you have a wide open shot, things will appear to kind of fade away into the distance. Or on the contrary, if you have a clip where the individual layers of depth are more defined, it can kind of make them appear to stack up and be very defined from each other. This kind of stacking effect is something that looks really cool on camera and can also be used to isolate your subject, which also looks really cool, but can also be used as a composition technique or to portray a certain kind of emotion. One thing you can do to emphasize this depth even more is shoot using a telephoto lens. At a longer focal length, there's more compression of your scene, which is going to make the fog appear even denser. Just to give you an example, here are two clips of the exact same setting taken with a 16 millimeter lens and a 45 millimeter lens. As you can see with that 45 millimeter lens, we're compressing that space, compressing those layers together, and it helps to make that fog appear a lot more saturated and dense in the scene. In addition to emphasizing that depth, having a layer of fog throughout your scene is going to give you a shot that appears to have a lower contrast, which is great because it retains a lot of detail in the highlights and shadows. But with such a low contrast, you also have to be very careful when you're color grading because adding more contrast in in post is really going to introduce even more grain and artifacts into the image. What you can do to avoid this is have your subject close to the camera. This way it's not going to be affected by the fog very much and it's going to serve as a reference for how much contrast there should be. If there's nothing in your shot that's close to the camera, it's just going to look washed out and require you to add more contrast than you necessarily should. So that reduced contrast is kind of a blessing and a curse at the same time, and it's one of the many different lighting opportunities that comes along with shooting in the fog. Fog carries light throughout your scenes. So you're going to have a shot that's a lot more diffused. So you have more detail in the shadows and highlights, just a hazier, softer look throughout the entire clip, and you're also going to have skin that looks a lot nicer because shooting in these soft lighting conditions is a lot better for making your skin look good than shooting in bright sunlight or harsh lighting. As far as lighting goes, it's just a much more appealing look than having very harsh direct lighting. And this is why a lot of people on film sets will deliberately have a fog machine and add fog into the scene intentionally to carry that light throughout it. If the lighting is set up correctly, you can also have these volumetric shafts or beams of light in your shot, which we all know looks really cool and can be a great way to add some more depth and interest into your visuals and even bring attention to the fog if that's what you're going for. Finally, I wanna share something that's kinda of just something I learned while I was out filming the intro to this video, which is that if you're shooting in dense fog, you might not want to get your drone out. Basically, as I was getting these shots, you can see here, I would fly the drone far enough away that you just can't see it. And uh, at that point, if you don't know what direction the drone is facing, you don't know where your drone is. Um, 
and you don't want to lose your drone. That's not that's not the way to go. Honestly, a drone shot with fog in it just doesn't look that good because the drone's generally so far away from the subject that you have to just add in a bunch of extra contrast in post to compensate for the fog. So if you're shooting in dense fog and you have your drone, you might want to consider just leaving it in your camera bag and not, not risking it for a shot that's not really worth it in the first place. But all that being said, I hope you've enjoyed this video or learned something new from it. And if you did, do feel free to share your support by leaving a like on the video, sharing it with your friends, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload two new filmmaking tutorials every single week. But that's all for now. Keep creating and I'll see you in the next one.